What is going on, guys, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you an awesome Minecraft um, XP farm using potatoes. Um, it is for Bedrock Edition. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it works in Java, but to be honest, I'm not completely sure. So here's how it works. You pop a potato in wait for it to cook up and you get an insane amount of levels right now i'm not at level one i have a little bit of xp but still look at this boom level 14 and it still works when you put more in it doesn't just stop because all these potatoes get smelted up and it gives you the xp every single time you collect a potato from here it doesn't take the xp away boom now I'm at level 20. It, it still doesn't take it away. It's so efficient. It's it works. And if you have an auto clicker, you get and you can AFK and then just have your thing like start clicking on the furnace thing, and then you'll just get so much. Um, you'll just get so much XP. So basically, how it works or what you need to do is all these get smelted into this chest now you want what is that eight stacks in there five stacks in there 13 stacks to get smelted but you have to smelt them um yeah um so yeah and you can't take them out otherwise this this thing will not work oopsies did not mean to do that i think it's so glitchy so glitchy but um yeah so it's it's really efficient um especially for repairing like s like mending stuff um so yeah it's 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 really efficient and i'm going to show you how to build it in just a minute so yeah so yeah this is this is yeah so we're getting ready to build this thing and so you'll need definitely like lots of chests i think it's eight chests eight chests yeah i think it is two furnaces yeah let's let's get started there's lots of hoppers too so you want to place those two chests there like that yeah now you'll want to take some of these blocks and fill it up like that oopsies didn't mean to do that yeah so you want to fill all these up like that and place that one block right there that way you have eight things open nice then you want to place that hopper there and then you want to take those two furnaces and you want to put that right there i'm just going to clear out space right there put that hopper on the side put put the hopper on the side then the chest then put the, do the top one like that so yeah like that it's good it's good yeah so you can add extra chests if you want more like storage um so yeah i'm just gonna label it for a second so i'm gonna go into signs i'm gonna label this fuel right here and then i'm gonna label this next one potatoes because well it, it works with um potatoes so yeah it's just, yeah. So you put your fuel in that chest or your potatoes in that chest. But there's also a different way that you could do it like this. Okay, so if you if you take some, like, smithing tables and then you make another one. It doesn't actually have to be smithing tables. I just found, like, a random block to do. So you, basically, you want to make, like, a different one. So you want to put the, the hopper, the chest all that stuff but you want to connect these two things right here so that once you put it in the potatoes like once you put all the potatoes in the chest it leads down into both of them then you want to add another thing you can make that a double two but yeah you can also make a back one which i'm about to do in just a just a minute but i want to i want to fill it up and all that stuff so yeah 
I'm just gonna put a block there though real quickly just to make it look like cooler I'm quickly gonna install the back one wait what am I doing I don't I don't need those there oops I accidentally broke the chest <laughs> my bad coach so yeah make that a double chest and then you want a fuel chest so like that you want a big nice thing with them connected that won't work actually you want them to be yeah like this so you take those and then that will be your giant fuel chest we could do it like that Actually, no, that wouldn't work because it needs two things. I'll fix that in a minute. Okay, yeah, so you're going to connect those up. Right there. But we want to break that so that we can do that, and then that connects up. So this is this is just a double thing. This right here, it's not needed. Um, you could just make the first one and then be, um, be done with this, but you want to fill up the bottom chests with smelted potatoes. I'm going to take the sign, and I'm going to label this one fuel, because that one's not a true fuel test. Oopsies. Or the, or the, the true fuel chest. So, yeah. Oops, didn't mean to drop my sign there. Yeah, so we have all the coal in there. Uh... But let's do the same on the other side with our smithing tables. And my it's really buggy though. My my cursor. It's been really buggy and I don't know why. But it's just it's just been buggy. Yeah. So like this. Oh, we need an extra block, don't we? Yeah, like that. So now we need like some the potatoes to get like smelted into there, which it is a lot of potatoes to fill the chests and the hoppers, but it's totally worth it because it's so easy to repair all your stuff when you need mending. It's so easy to repair like everything. So this is just a double thing. You don't have to make it double, or you can totally make it two separate things. You don't have to have them connected. It's just it's just what I decided to do. Um because of uh, it's it's easier, so I just decided to to add it in here. What you can do if you get uh, because lava buckets can be used as fuel sources. So yeah, but something you can do to get them is do a uh, um you can use like dripstone as a way of doing things. So like this right here. So if I take these right here I put a cauldron under there oopsies that was dripstone so if I put a cauldron under there and then just a sec I need to put the thing around it like that I'm gonna break that place that right there and then we fill these up eventually what will happen is it'll start to drip down into the cauldron and then so yeah and then the cauldron will get filled up so that you can use those infinitely and if you um yeah so watch this you can use it as like a fuel source or like lava buckets you can use them as fuel which is nice Watch this, it starts to cook up. I'm just gonna make a day real quick. Yeah, so it starts to starts to fill up and yeah. You can do, it, you can do all kinds of stuff. But that that doesn't matter. It's meant to be used for XP right now. Um so yeah. And so something you can do, you do need some some buckets for this. Probably didn't, don't need that much, but whatever. I can fill up some of these with um, buckets. Oopsies. I forgot the chest was open. But you fill those slots up with buckets so that once they're done, they all go down into there. Um, 
so they all go down into the hopper and then you can collect those that way you don't have to manually take them out every time it's just a nice little trick so yeah it, it works so yeah